you guys. I'm about to get fly. Good morning. I'm at Tobacco Road. I got with me the Bogey Smalls right here. I got with me Nick Bradley. Yo, yo. Tags in the, in the scripture. Hey. Alex Napier Golf. Check him out. We're about to get our ass kicked by Tobacco Road. All right, hole number one, it's a straightaway par five. Uh, it's a little intimidating off the tee, but if you hit it past these hills, it's quite a large landing zone into this valley. Uh, next up, I just blade my five iron. Luckily, it doesn't go into the sand trap, and so I have this third shot into the green, which is blind because I'm behind this little hill here. So I scope out where I need to hit it, just take my wedge. Uh, luckily, it turns out okay. I just hit it over the green, so I have this putt off the green. Um, and see if I can just two putt this for my par. So end up rolling this one quite well. And here's my cleanup for par. And yeah, par the first hole. So even through one. Next up is an intimidating tee shot with expansive sand traps. Uh, I end up pulling this one to the left, uh, which means me a long shot into the green. Uh, and so this next one, I flare out a little bit to the right and end up into this bunker that is just massive all the way around the green. So I chunk this sand shot and I'm just trying to reduce my, you know, blow up hole here. And I just want to get this next one on and I do that. So I have a testy one for my bogey. And here's my bogey attempt and it rolls out more than I thought I was going to. And now I have a long one for my double. And I'm barely rolling that one in. So two over through two. All right, next up is the first par three of the day. And it has a huge undulating green. So I missed the green completely, unfortunately. But I ended up just taking my flat stick from off the green. And look at this roll. It ends up going down this first hill. It looks pretty good. And I ended up rolling it to maybe like six feet or so. So really happy with the result of this putt. So here is my par putt attempt. Yeah, and I'm just rolling that in. So pretty happy with my par double par start. All right, next up is a par five that rewards courage on your second shot. Uh, the second shot requires you to hit over this massive bunker waste area uh, to get to the green. So here comes my shot. And um, I flares went out a little bit to the right and I didn't know that it slopes so heavily towards the hole. So I hit a speed slide and it rolls onto the green. So I'm putting for eagle. I got super nervous because this would be the first channel eagle. And yeah, I left it super short. But fortunately, I end up just cleaning it up and actually getting a birdie. So back to one over and I'm feeling pretty good. All right, just when you thought the holes could not get any more insane, uh, this one has a massive expansive waste bunker area. So I lay up to the right. And I thought I made the right play and I ended up chunking my gap wedge because I was so nervous about being short. So here's where I'm at. All right, guys, this is the wa I'm walking to my boat. I got to go over this little sand trap hill. I'm in this ditch down here. Oh my gosh. I have no backswing. So as you can hear me say, I had no backswing, so I had to come in real steep. I ended up just blasting out of this hard sand and almost into the other fairway of another hole. So yeah, I just ran over. Hit my ball, luckily over the trees, and I got to this position. It's gonna like my camera fell over, but this is where I ended up. And I just chip onto the green, and I'm just hoping that I don't blow up here. And I end up chipping this one close and end up saving my double from that position. So not a bad double at all. All right, another par three, another crazy landscape of sand traps. This one I end up just being short and right of the, the flag. And so I just need to chip on here. Uh, you know, the chip was okay, ended up going a little bit too far, uh, and so I have quite a long one for uh, my par putt. So here's the par putt, and giving a lot of respect to these greens, it rolled out pretty good, but ultimately left it short and picked up another bogey. All right, next up is a downhill par four. Piped this one down the center, and it just hit the speed slot, so I don't have much distance for my second shot into the green. Uh, end up hitting my pitching wedge pretty close and I'm quite happy with the result on this one And so I have a good look at another birdie And yeah, this one I just didn't give it a chance played too much break, but tap and par here I'll take it. All right another cool downhill par 3 with a massive green uh, Went straight for it and ended up being a little bit short in the sand trap So I have to get up and down just to save my par uh, Yeah, here's my sand shot and you can take practice shots out of the bunker, which I feel like was really helpful for me. Uh, yeah, so this is where I end up chipping uh, my sand shot and I just tap that in for par. 
Next up is a narrow fairway to par four. That's all the way uphill. End up hitting a really good tee shot and setting myself up for a good shot into the super elevated green. So you should check out uh, what they have for the setup to get to the screen with these stairs. All right, look at this. This is insane. Walking up these steps. Holy moly. Oh, Stairmaster at a golf course. Oh, look where I'm at. So as you can hear in the excitement of my voice, I had a close one again for birdie. Didn't give it a chance, I pulled it, so I tap in for par. So this next video you're going to see is a little washed out. That's because I had to dip my phone into the ice chest because it was so hot and I needed to keep that thing cool. Uh, I ended up just hitting this a little bit to the left of the fairway and hitting a beautiful iron into the green, uh, even, even though it had such a weird lie. And so I had yet another good look at birdie. So as you can see, left that one decently short, not too happy with that, and definitely not happy with this next putt where I barely miss for par, end up with a three putt. All right, next up is one of the more famous holes at Tobacco Road. It's noted for their crazy waste bunkers on the right-hand side of this second shot. Uh, fortunately, I don't end up in the bunker, but I end up in some grass to the right by some stairs. Uh, but yeah, those bunkers are like 10 feet tall. It's crazy. Um, that being said, I chunk my next shot and then I have to chip on again. So I'm actually lying four on the green right now. And so I have a decent length putt for my par. So here's the par attempt. And not terrible, just a tap in bogey. Uh, so I'll take bogey on this hole any day. So there are not too many tame holes at Tobacco Road, but this is one of them. Just very straight away uh, landing area for your first shot. And if you stay short of these traps, you got an easy shot into the green. Uh, unfortunately, I don't make life easy on myself and I blade it across. And so I have a long approach just to get up and down uh, for my par. So here's my, my chip. And I actually think it almost goes in. So um, yeah, I got really, really close. And so I just have this easy tap in for my par. So pretty happy with this par. Uh, yeah, like I said, the only hole really at Tobacco Road that doesn't make you think too much. All right, this next hole is pretty cool because it has a lot of elevation change uh, uphill and downhill within the same hole. So this is a downhill tee shot followed by an uphill approach for your second. And then the third shot is also uphill, but it plays into a weird bowl. I think a more descriptive way to put it is more like a trough. It's very wide, but shallow. Uh, and yeah, I end up unfortunately on top of this bowl, but check, take a look what I'm talking about in this clip right here. It's insane. There's a tall flag here. Like, there's like this here. So unfortunately, I end up on top of the bowl, so I barely just chip it on and it let the hill take it the rest of the way. I thought it was going to go in, but it yeah. doesn't. And so here is my uh, par putt. Yeah, and apparently it just doinks out of the cup. So I end up getting a bogey here, but what a cool hole. All right, next up is the hole that you see when you drive in. Uh, it's a scenic par three with water all to the right, so you gotta put your blinders on. Uh, I went aggressive here to make sure I wasn't short, so I end up over the green. Uh, barely tap my putt, but it rolls really fast towards the water, and so I have a long one uh, coming back. So I know it's not the greatest angle in view, but I just left my camera in the cart. And yeah, I missed my par putt, and so I end up three putting for bogey. But what a crazy hole. Look at the scenes in the background here. All right, coming up next is a par four with a blind tee shot where you wanna be uh, what I didn't know is that there's this, you know, cliff that kind of splits the fairway and I end up just being on top of this little cliff and hitting my next shot into a blind green. So as you can see, here's a little cliff that splits the fairway. Um, and yeah, I didn't know exactly where the pin was. I like walked up to check and I end up being pretty close. So here's my birdie attempt. End up draining it. So yeah, back to seven over. I'm really happy at this point. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that a blow up hole is bound to happen. This is a little blow up because I hit my driving iron and end up losing my ball. So I take a drop because there's people behind us and so I'm hitting four onto the green. And luckily I end up on this green because this green is absolutely diabolical. It is massive and has two huge tiers and I'm on the bottom tier. Look how big this green is. Look how small I am in comparison to the green itself. Luckily, I knew that if I hit it up firm, that it's going to roll back. And you can see it's rolling back um, backwards towards the hole. And so I have a decent length putt for my double. So here's my double attempt. 
And yeah, I end up just getting double here and saving uh, my score on this hole. All right, uh, short par three, last par three of the day. Uh, just took a little bit of a punch pitching wedge, ends up being short, and so I'm off the green for uh, my next shot. Here's my chip, and yeah, just rolled it way too hard. I was a little frustrated there because I have a long one for par. Maybe I should have putted it, and yeah, I missed my par there, and so I end up picking up a bogey. All right, coming to the last hole is an awesome driving hole because there's a massive wall that you need to hit over. Uh, luckily, just cleared it easily and hit into the middle of the fairway. So I have a good look for my second shot and a tucked away green uh, that's behind like these sand traps. So end up just hitting a little bit of a like a trap draw uh, and it's pin even. And so I have this for my birdie. Look at that clubhouse in the background. Check out this birdie putt. Yeah, almost make that, and I'm just tapping in for a par. So overall, I end up being 10 over, no triples, and I had a really good day at Tobacco Road. All right, that was freaking crazy, dude. Insane, yeah. insane round. Um, I think I shot okay, but hey, I wasn't about that. This whole clubhouse thing and hanging out with this guy, for sure, I think that was the highlight. Oh, it like we, we've said multiple times, the golf was secondary on this trip. The oh, golf yeah. was amazing. Golf was amazing. But the golf was secondary. Yeah. We, we met some amazing people and um, got to see all this amazing scenery. Scenery and, and, and yeah. All Overall, right. Overall, an unbelievable trip and we can't wait to get to Arizona for number two. Hey guys, hope you guys like that one. Keep chasing. See you in the next one.